Hey, this is Anthony from Zilla. You watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion Covert Helmet, available at RevZilla.com. New for the fall of 16, this is the Scorpion Covert. And I will tell you, I have not seen a helmet that carries on this lineage in quite some time. We saw the Bell Rogue do the Bane style of things. We saw Cobra Commander in the Shark Raw. Scorpion Covert has its own flavor. And while you might be saying, oh, Scorpion, you're late to the party, we're actually saying that I like that they're on time. If we look at it, it's the most integrated setup for any of these helmets that have the removable muzzle. And if you're new to this, when I call the removable muzzle out, it means that this rubberized chin component, the muzzle, actually comes off. And you can see it's suede on the inside. It uses neodymium magnets to guide it back in. But that's really the claim to fame here. It's going to give you the opportunity to choose if you want to be open face. Notice how they guide their way back in. Or if you want to wear it on. But what we like about this helmet is it's very stormtrooper-ish. It's very futuristic. This is the Ratnik graphic. There's also a matte black. But we like the fact that the drop-down sun visor integrates with the muzzle. None of the other helmets that have done the removable muzzle have done that. They've all said, wear your sunglasses. Well, you can wear your sunglasses or a pair of goggles on this helmet, but if you want, you now have the ability to just keep it nice and easy and integrate it, block the wind, and use the dark smoke shield. So, taking a big step back, you're around the $200 mark, let's talk briefly about fitment here on the Scorpion Covert. Scorpion Covert is going to be an intermediate oval head shape. It's not going to be overly round or overly narrow. Should fit fine within the American market. It's DOT rated, and again, it's using the same quality EPS that we'd see within the Scorpion line. So no real questions there. Remember, use a size chart. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks if you're concerned. What I really love to know is, are you as excited about it as we are when it comes to these removable muzzle type designs? Now I'll tell you, quick sidebar, I think everybody should wear a full face helmet because this part of the helmet's not DOT rated. But if you're going for a little bit of mixture of style and function, it's pretty cool. Also, click our logo, subscribe to us. Again, keep us up to date with your thoughts on this bad boy. Use the conversation at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Now, if we dive in, it is a polycarb helmet. If we think about it, polycarb is not going to be composite. It's not going to use any fiberglass, but it's three pounds, six ounces. And again, remember, it's DOT rated as a open face helmet. So this part of the helmet is DOT rated. This part of the helmet is EPS that extends. It is not. This part's actually removable. You could wear the helmet without it, but that's really our only gripe is we don't think it looks great when you start to completely disassemble it. Most people, I would imagine, that are buying this helmet are going to wear it in this configuration or with the muzzle off. The other thing to call out is if we think about the Shark Raw, the Bell Rogue, neither one had venting. This Scorpion Covert actually has chimney vents now that are going to funnel air back through the helmet. There's no exhaust, but again, you're getting better functionality of a helmet that's in that same price range. Again, it won't break the bank, and it's a very unique style piece. If we look at it, this ridge adds some style, but it's really to house the integrated sun visor system that flips up and down with these two scoops on either side. And if we look at the back, it's just going to come down nice and neatly and finish off. And remember, around the bottom, this EPS is is fully removable. So the DOT element ends right here, and this piece you can pull off. But again, not my recommendation. If we look at the front, the muzzle does have venting. We showed you on either side how simple it is to remove it. Just like that, when you're putting it back on, notice that nice, satisfying click as you're going to jam it in there. And again, neodymium magnets help line that up. The other thing, again, I'm going to show you one more angle of it. Notice from the top down, there's a nice gasket in there. It's going to block you from Mother Nature. It's going to block some wind out. It's going to have a nice integration point if you don't want to wear sunglasses or you don't want to try to snake a pair of goggles under there. At first glance, you're looking at it and playing with it. I think a pair of goggles is probably going to be a stretch. I think your sunglasses or a drop down. And that's going to be different again compared to something like the Shark Raw and certainly different compared to something like the Bell Rogue. Now, if I grab my donut over here, that almost sounded like a children's nursery rhyme. I'm going to show you the inner guts here, right? So I have my neck roll, which is fully removable. Notice it is wicking. It's using the quick wick two liner system from Scorpion. Again, wicking, antimicrobial, nice and soft against the skin. It uses Velcro to hold it on. I really don't dock at points. But what I do like is that it's mesh along the back because all the air that came into the Mohawk or on the chimney vent is going to circulate down. It's going to exit out through the back here. So the fact that that's mesh, it's going to allow it to breathe and allow you to have better air circulation and extraction. If I open this up from the bottom and pull off my muzzle now, you're going to see again one more shot of the interior guts. There are your magnets. There are your ventilation holes on the front. And notice if you are riding in the cold, this is not going to be able to be closed. So again, you're going to have a lot of air coming in there. Just keep that in mind. If we look at the rest of it, double D-ring construction, no surprises there. I'm going to pull out my integrated Quick Wick 2 liner, basic mesh, basic foam, four points of snap. 
Again, using all the features you'd expect to see in a mid-range Scorpion helmet. It doesn't make me go over the moon, but it also doesn't bug me. It's, again, what I'd expect from a Quick Quick 2. It's tried, it's true, it's proven, but it's not adding a ton of cost here. The other thing to call out is notice the ventilation scheme on this helmet. They gave you the chin me vents, and they're giving you great cutaways in the EPS to allow you to circulate that airflow. And again, remember, that's gonna come in through the top, it's gonna run all the way down the backside, under your skull, and exit through the neck roll. Again, very, very thoughtful. Now, the last thing that we would see here is this non-DUT EP EPS piece. It is removal, there are two hooks on either side, and the way you pull it out is by yanking on this bad boy and ripping it off. Again, we'll show you what that looks like with this uninstalled, but we absolutely don't like it. We think it looks a little bit goofy, like a mushroom head. It sits too high, there's nothing to balance it out when you do remove this. That'll be your call, but I'm telling you up front, don't buy this helmet expecting that to look great. It's just gonna look okay, too slightly goofy. Now remember, what do we like about it? We like the seal of the gasket. If you install everything back, we put our muzzle back on, which I will do, show you really quickly how quickly, one more time and easily, those magnets line up. We love that, we love that integration. We like the look out of it, it balances its way out. Again, it's a different flavor on this muzzle design, but I will tell you this, before you click on and read other rider reviews, I'm gonna tell you that most impacts happen to the face, and this is non-DOT rated, this is a flexible rubber. So if you are worried about protection, it might not be the direction you wanna go. I always recommend a full face helmet for folks just because of the nature of so many wrecks. Now, the next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevZall.com for the Scorpion Covert. Read other rider reviews. Don't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZall.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel to update with our opinion on the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.